beautiful video i hope you guys enjoyed last week's video on contentment and uh, i hope you guys are ready for this week's video because as you can tell from the title we are going to be speaking about leadership okay so leadership <laughs> another rough one to speak about because guys what people deem as leadership mm -mm. it's all twisted i'm telling you it's twisted it's twisted what people consider leadership mm, ain't really leadership so let's try to get into those things because yeah we need better leaders in this world don't you agree i'm pretty sure you agree okay so this week we i have nine tips that we're going to be speaking about so i'll try not to speak too long on each tip so as to not make this video too long okay so um yeah let's get straight into it just to not waste any time so the first one is displays integrity guys I know you're there thinking about that one person who has been your leader and integrity was just not a part of their personality. I feel you. Don't worry. I've been through it too. I've known those people that ethics is just not a part of who they are. Manners, nothing. They have nothing that you would deem as substantial or fit to be a leader and you're like how did you get that position of leadership hmm? yeah I know you're thinking about that person but guys if it is that you yourself are called into leadership let's start breaking that cycle by showcasing integrity when it comes to leadership if you are placed in leadership guys you we all society we all have that known rule of how to behave manners how to have manners how to be polite how to how to just be ethical in whatever you do or how you handle certain tasks or how you interact with people there are just certain things that are just known fact right and the fact that you would have expressed those things as an individual or as a leader would make you an exemplary leader and we ought to try and create leaders like that because the leaders that we are seeing in society now like can I refund you know like refund right like can we refund them but yeah if it is that you are placed in leadership, let's let's start breaking that cycle and follow this tip. This is a very important tip. That's why it's number one of showcasing integrity. Okay? Now the next one is help others to develop. Guys, leaders should not be selfish. Shouldn't be all for yourself. Like honestly, you should look out for the people around you. Whichever team you're placed in charge of you're supposed to help each and every member of that team to develop who they are as individuals in that team so that they can become their the best version of themselves and then not only in not only will they become the best version of themselves the best version of themselves will help you as the leader to showcase the best version of your team so a leader should help to develop those around them don't just tell someone okay do this and then they don't know how to do it and you just leave them and then you're the same one that's going to turn around and argue with them does that even make sense what were you placed in leadership for right so you're not supposed to just ex expect people to know things of course you're not going to you're not going to want someone who First of all, you wouldn't hire them, but of course, everyone won't know 100% of what they're supposed to do in a certain project. You have those people that are super, but you have, as a leader, you know the strengths and weaknesses of your team members, right? 
you work and you help them to develop their weaknesses and you praise their strengths and that would be what a great leader would do so yeah help to develop others if you are placed in leadership guys and I'm telling you these things because I employ them myself whenever I'm placed in leadership so whenever you're placed in leadership don't be that type of leader that okay you're all for yourself and then when it comes to your team members those people who you're supposed to look out for you are nonchalant towards them or you just you're just mean <laughs> just a simple term mean okay so the next one is um, value relationships now if it is that you have integrity and you are helping to develop others that is going to now start to establish a relationship between you and your team members guys people like nice people it's just the truth as much as yes I know there are people who will take advantage of the fact that some people are nice but integrity will also showcase discipline and the fact that you're not supposed you're supposed to know where that line is drawn in terms of being friends and then know you're the leader okay so that's where respect comes in so value relationships whenever it is that you are placed in leadership guys build relationships with your colleagues or with your team members don't just come and just do the work and then you leave no everyone is struggling with something build relationships because you never know um the reason why someone is in your circle at that specific time in their life or in your life right so you never know how much you can help someone outside of the workplace or just outside of any group work because you have group works in in school not only in the workplace right so value relationships and in valuing relationships you will create a stronger team honestly because people are going to realize oh my leader cares about me and because they care about me i'm going to want to respect them more i'm going to want to do the work that they tell me to do because it's going to benefit not only myself but it's also going to benefit someone who cares about me and which leader doesn't want the cooperation of their team members right right so the next one is holds themselves accountable guys go watch my video on accountability guys if you are supposed to be an excellent leader because I realize it's a crave for many people to just be leaders I don't get the crave but okay boo oh who I'm leader okay sorry just my views but anyways um, since so many people are craving to be leaders in this society that we are in um, you as a leader if you want to be a very good leader guys you'll need to be accountable and accountable in the sense that you know how to own up to when you're wrong because guys I don't know why but if you've noticed and I'm pretty sure you can agree with me a lot of people who are in leadership they're so prideful it's not even funny it they're so prideful that no one can speak to them and you're like but you're not always right and the leader listens a good leader listens and they can and their team members can be their accountability partner to say okay you know I probably as a leader made a mistake this way yes I'll listen to my team members and then let's fix this issue find a solution to this issue right now as a team and that will definitely show your team members that oh my leader is human as well he or she makes mistakes and that's fine I don't need to feel as if I need to always be perfect in order to please anyone and that's the type of leaders we're supposed to create in this generation and for future generations because 
as I've said before, can we get a refund on the type of leaders that we're seeing in this society now? Please, refund, please. Okay, so if you're going to break that cycle of leadership, guys, let's start holding ourselves accountable. And if you want more details on how to do that, please go and watch my video on accountability. Okay, so the next tip is shows honesty. I told you it was going to be a rough one because me. This is going to pick at a lot of people's pride. Sorry, not sorry. Okay. Um, guys. I don't know why lying is so praised in our society. But yes. If you're going to be a very good leader, you have to be honest in whatever you're doing yeah that's what good leaders do when they make a mistake they're honest about it or if if it is that they're struggling in an area they're honest about it so that they don't take out the fact that they are they are <laughs> you see it's so funny i i laughed because usually when you see leaders like go off on their team members or anything of the sort, it's because of their own insecurities or the fact that they made a mistake that they are now projecting that blame onto the onto their team members. And you're like, I can clearly see through you why you are behaving this way and you're trying to blame me. Like, you get what I'm saying, guys? Hmm... Yes, let's try to break that. It's not cute. It's really not cute. Okay? So the next one is practices active listening. Guys. I told you it's going to pick out a lot of people's pride. When people are placed in leadership, anyone below them can't speak to them that's just basically how it is as in i think people think they're gods when they get leadership and you're not you're really not you're really not just 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 letting you know you're not okay um yeah you need to listen to team members, to other people who have already experienced the, these things. You have to listen to them in order to make your team or whatever project you're working on better. Do I need to say that again? You have to actively listen to people so that you can improve whatever project you're working on and also improve your relationship with your team members who are going to help you to make your project the best version of itself right so yes guys active listening how do we do active listening we be quiet and we don't listen to just answer we listen to understand that means as a leader, you're, you should be able to sit down with your team, listen to each and every one of the points and see which points or which parts of each point that is given to you can fuse together so as to make the team look good. And I hope you realize I've been emphasizing team. It's not just me, myself and I as a leader. You have to, as a leader, think about the team at, as, at all times, right? So if, it is, so if it is that you're going to be breaking this cycle of being a bad leader and trying to now showcase good leadership, learn to sit and listen. And your view is not always the best view. You have to listen. And then in listening you'll see how best to improve whatever task you have at hand. 
okay now the next one is promote a vision guys people don't like when they are led into nothing right if there's no substance in what you're doing as a leader people are not going to want to follow you you will have to show them a reason as to why they should follow you right and give them every evidence possible and that evidence is known as your vision what's your vision for the project what's your vision for the business what's your vision for whatever relationship that you are having with this this person or these persons right what is your aim in life what's your goal right and in knowing your goal as a leader and being so firm on your goal not firm in the sense that you're not willing to change it change it or tweak it but know where you're headed and people like people like visionaries okay people like visionaries so show make sure your team knows what they are joining or whatever it is they're working towards because if they don't know you're going to encounter issues with them and then you're wondering why they can't follow you because you don't even know where you're going so the blind is leading the blind let's not have that let's see so that we can bring people with us right there we go so a good leader promotes a vision okay so the next one is displays courage <laughs> guys can't have a weak leader you have to be strong I'm telling you you have to be strong if you are supposed to be a leader guys the weak don't lead let's just say it like that the weak don't lead you have to know how to encounter and handle hard circumstances in life like when rough times come and you have a team and you're leading them and then you if you quiver under the under the pressure then what are they going to do right they need to see that okay my leader can handle this and because they can handle it that means that they also can handle it as a team because if your leader doesn't melt under pressure of course you're going to now be encouraged to try and push to not melt under the pressure either either right and not only the pressure in regards to the teamwork that you're doing but in your own life if you can see someone that has gone through so many things in life and I know we've all experienced this like you've seen that person that you know their life story and the fact that they are going through a lot and they can get up and still push that shows you like if they can do it I can do it too right and that is leadership be courageous be assertive if you don't know how to be assertive i already explained it in another video please go and watch it and guys learn to be brave huh. this one i don't know how to like just whew. learn to be brave guys you have to face your fears have to face your fears, have to face the people that seem as if they are the Goliaths and you are the David. Like, come on. Listen, my friends always hear me say this. These people are merely clay and spit. The Lord made them with the dust of the earth and the spit of his mouth and breathed the breath of life into them. It's just clay. Why are you afraid? Hmm? Okay, so not only in regards to people, you shouldn't be fearful. But as a leader, if you're supposed to break that cycle of being a bad leader, when it comes to hard circumstances in life, yes, cry. You can do whatever you want to do to, to deal with the pain, but... It shouldn't be too long a time honestly you really need to start getting back up and start pushing that's what leaders do they keep pushing 
regardless of what is happening in their life, you keep pushing. It's called perseverance, persistence, tenacity. Okay, so be courageous and push yourself as, a, as an individual overall and that will make you a leader. When people see that in you, best believe you are going to be one of them that, they, that comes to mind when they are thinking of leadership positions. Okay, so yes, if it is that you are seeking to be a leader, this is a very key trait that you ought to possess assertiveness and being courageous okay so the final final one that i really really wanted to tackle i actually added it so it was initially eight but i added it and the last one is i bet you won't even guess it be a servant yes i said it being a really good leader means you really need to be a servant and that means you need to be humble and that's why throughout this video i have been saying that many people their pride will be plucked at and it's because true leaders good leaders in society are humble humble okay you have to be a servant you can't just think of yourself always above everyone no because regardless of how good you are as an individual that would have made you a leader, people like when you can relate with them and you, you're not always just thinking above them or you're not just always trying to showcase that you're better than them. No, they want a friend. They want someone who can relate to them in their struggles. And a good leader does that. They they forsake all of the good things or the nice fancy things that they have and they will literally just hang with the people who are in need and that's what good leaders do and it's not just for showcase like oh let me just hang with them for a small amount of time no you make this a lifestyle and that's what a good leader does they make it a lifestyle to not showcase the fact that oh they're great at this and they're a leader they're, they're a leader or whatever of the sort good leaders don't need to showcase the fact that they are good leaders people will just see it but the but good leaders will be servants and they will take care of those who are in need and that's what we should aim to do as individuals and in showcasing all these tips that we discussed this week in this video guys if you are showcasing all these things best believe you won't need to beg for leadership Pe people will just want you to be their leader right and that's really what a true leader is someone who doesn't need to ask or beg or crave for leadership people will just see it and they will give you the respect you deserve and they will place you in leadership positions without you even asking okay so yeah let's break that cycle of bad leadership that we're seeing in society these days and uh, for the future generation guys let's start creating good leaders okay so i'll see you next week bye